Hello and welcome back to Will It Work? Today we're going to take a look at the Sony PlayStation 2 and see if we can get it to burn data to a DVD over USB. Now I've made a couple of videos on other consoles that were able to do this, the Nintendo Wii U and the Sony PlayStation 3. And in that last video with the PS3 I mentioned that it does not work with the PlayStation 4 and it does not work with any Xbox consoles. So I thought I'd sort of wrapped it up for now until the next generation of consoles comes out. But then I remembered something. The PS2 has USB ports. Now I never had one of these back in the day, but I assumed it was for special controllers like Rock Band or mice and keyboards for certain games. And for the most part that's true, but I did a little research and I found out there was one game that allowed you to save data to a USB flash drive, and that's Gran Turismo 4. And what you can do in that game is take pictures of your car along with various background locations and different camera angles. And you could save a relatively decent quality picture to a USB flash drive, take it back to your computer, maybe use it as wallpaper. Well, once I found out about this, I knew I had to get a PS2 in and try to get it to work with a USB DVD burner. Now I have a good friend who has a PS2 Slim that he very generously lent me and I bought a copy of GT4 on eBay, got it in, and tried it out, experimented with how to do the photos and save them to a flash drive, and everything worked as expected. So let's try that same thing, but see if we can actually burn these photos to a DVD. Let's get started. Okay, so I have my USB DVD burner on top of the PS2. It is bus powered, so I have it in a splitter here going into both USB ports in the front of the PS2. I need the current from both of these ports to power this up. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start with is just a good old fashioned standard uh, DVD-R that everybody knows and loves. put that in. And we'll go into the Photo Travel app and I'm just going to do Beacon Hill. I'm not going to mess with any camera angles or anything. We'll just get right to trying to save this file. Go down here and take my picture. And let's try to save it. It's already set to the USB storage device. And let's go, let's see what happens. Yeah, error. No surprise there. But I always like to start with DVD-R before we move on to the next format. So the next disc we're going to try is DVD-RAM, which is a special form of DVD that acts like a traditional hard disk. It has disk sectors. You can format it into any file system the host operating system supports. It has read-write access to all your files. You don't have to erase the entire disk to just delete one file, like an RW. It is essentially a purely optical hard disk. Let's try this one out. Okay, we'll try to save or burn in this case this photo. It is engaging the drive. Hey, it looks like it worked. Very cool. Let's do another one, and then we'll take the disc back to my computer and see what we have on it. Let's 
Let's go to Vegas, baby. Take this picture. Save. All right, let's go back to my computer and see what we have on the disk. Okay, so I have the DVD-RAM disk mounted on my desktop. Let's open it up and see what we got. Looks like there's a GT4 folder with two pictures inside. Let's see what they look like. There's Beacon Hill, and there's Las Vegas. It worked perfectly. So there we have it. The PlayStation 2 joins the PlayStation 3 and the Wii U in being able to burn data to a DVD albeit in a very limited fashion with just GT4. I will point out one strange thing I found. I always put these DVD ramps into FAT32 for these kinds of tests because that's the format that everything works with. And when I had it in FAT32, it would actually freeze up the entire PS2 and it would try to burn those photos to the disk. I didn't know what was going on. I tried different DVD RAM discs, I reformatted them, repartitioned them, everything, but every single time it would freeze when trying to burn the photo to the disc. And then I tried it in FAT16, which is really old, and it worked. And I have no idea why this needs FAT16 to work, because FAT32 works perfectly with any size disc with the PS2 and GT4, like small ones and large ones. It's just something weird about this combination of the game, its drivers, and DVD RAM, which it really wasn't designed to work with, but I had to put it in FAT16. Very bizarre, but after that, it did work. Well, that's going to do it for this video. As always, if you're enjoying this channel, please like and subscribe. I'll be back soon, but that's all for now. Take care.